The American Revolution was a pivotal event in world history that reshaped the political, social, and economic landscape of the 18th century. In this video, we'll explore the causes, key events, and lasting impact of this transformative conflict that gave birth to a new nation, the United States of America. To understand the American Revolution, we must first look at the Seven Years' War, also known as the French and Indian War in North America. This global conflict pitted the British against the French and their respective allies, with much of the fighting taking place in the American colonies. The British emerged victorious, gaining vast territories in North America. However, the war left Britain with a massive debt, which they sought to pay off by imposing new taxes on the colonies. In 1764, the British Parliament passed the Sugar Act, which placed duties on imported sugar, molasses, and other products. This act was designed to raise revenue to help pay off the debt from the Seven Years' War. The colonists, who had grown accustomed to a degree of self-governance and minimal taxation, saw this as an infringement on their rights. The following year, Parliament passed the Stamp Act, which required colonists to purchase stamps for various paper products such as newspapers, legal documents, and playing cards. This direct tax on the colonies further fueled resentment, as the colonists argued that they should not be taxed without representation in Parliament. Protests and boycotts of British goods followed, eventually leading to the Act's repeal in 1766. Despite repealing the Stamp Act, the British government continued to assert its authority over the colonies. In 1767, Parliament passed the Townshend Acts, which placed duties on imported glass, lead, paper, paint, and tea. Once again, the colonists protested, arguing that the Acts violated their rights as British subjects. The Acts were partially repealed in 1770, but the tax on tea remained, setting the stage for further conflict. Tensions between the colonists and British authorities reached a boiling point on March 5, 1770, when a confrontation between a group of colonists and British soldiers turned deadly. The soldiers, who were provoked by an angry mob, fired into the crowd, killing five colonists. The event, which became known as the Boston Massacre, further strained relations between the colonies and the mother country. In 1773, the British East India Company was granted a monopoly on the importation of tea to the colonies. This move, combined with the remaining tax on tea from the Townshend Acts, angered the colonists, who saw it as another attempt by the British government to assert control. On December 16, 1773, a group of colonists, disguised as Native Americans, boarded three ships in Boston Harbor and dumped 342 chests of tea into the water. This act of defiance, known as the Boston Tea Party, would have far-reaching consequences. In response to the Boston Tea Party, the British Parliament passed a series of laws known as the Coercive Acts, or the Intolerable Acts, as they came to be known in the colonies. These acts closed the port of Boston, restricted Massachusetts self-governance, and allowed British officials accused of crimes to be tried in Britain. The intolerable acts were meant to punish Massachusetts and assert British authority, but they had the unintended effect of uniting the colonies against what they saw as a common threat. In September 1774, delegates from 12 colonies met in Philadelphia for the First Continental Congress. The delegates, who included future luminaries such as John Adams, Samuel Adams, and George Washington, discussed their grievances against British rule and debated potential courses of action. The Congress issued a Declaration of Rights and Grievances, which outlined the colony's objections to British policies and asserted their rights as British subjects. They also called for a boycott of British goods and established the Continental Association to enforce the boycott. By early 1775, tensions between the colonies and Britain had reached a fever pitch, in April, British General Thomas Gage received orders to seize the colonists' military supplies in Concord, Massachusetts. On the night of April 18th, Paul Revere and other riders set out to warn the colonists of the British advance. The following day, on April 19th, British troops clashed with colonial militiamen at Lexington and Concord, marking the first battles of the American Revolution. 
The period from 1763 to 1775 saw a steady escalation of tensions between the American colonies and the British government. A series of taxes, acts, and events, such as the Sugar Act, the Stamp Act, the Boston Massacre, and the Boston Tea Party, fueled resentment and resistance among the colonists. By the time the first shots were fired at Lexington and Concord, the stage was set for a full-scale war that would ultimately lead to the creation of a new nation founded on the principles of liberty and self-governance. We've now finished part one of this two-part series on the American Revolution. Part two will be coming soon, so hit the bell icon, like and subscribe to stay tuned for the second installment, where we discuss turning points that reshaped the world in the 18th century. Until next time, thanks for watching History Reforged.